That's some pretty damn fine coffee. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, not really a review, more so of a interest. I actually finally watched the first episode of Twin Peaks. Someone lent me a copy of the first two seasons a long time ago, and I always meant to get around to it because I enjoyed Alan Wake. I actually asked for these when Alan Wake was really big, and I had heard that there was a lot of influence from the show. However, I've never been a big fan of Lynch and his weirdness. It, it just doesn't jive with me. I understand that it's obviously for a select crowd, I'm just not one of those. If any of you watched my review of Dune, you can understand my kind of criticisms about it. However, this is not as weird yet as I thought it would be because it's really a grounded true crime story, at least from the first episode. That's something I should also mention. I've only just watched the first episode, ergo kind of the title. I will review the first season when I finish it. It's actually pretty grounded. Sure, the town's a little odd, but as would a town in kind of its own little area in the 90s would be. It's not a full-on hick town, it's just a quiet, self-isolated town. It reminds me of the island town that was in Storm of the Century series. It doesn't remind me of places like Hope. If any of you know of Hope in BC, you know what I'm talking about. And I actually thought this was cool that there was this mystery, not only just about the murder, but of the town folk. They have their own little mysteries, they have their own little stories that aren't supernatural yet, but they have a realistic sort of quality to them. The way that the characters and the story progresses, while a little bit eccentric, especially with the Agent Cooper, who has this strange fascination with the trees and the coffee and the food, he really is a representation of a noir-esque 40s detective set in the current day, especially with him constantly talking into his voice recorder. I enjoy the mystery of the town, the mystery of the murder, and the mystery of the folk and the people related to the girl who died. I'm intrigued to see where this goes considering the hype this show has, and at the same time I can see why this was such a critical hit. Because of a video essay I just started watching, I didn't go too far because I knew I was going to get into spoilers. At the time there was a lot of sitcoms and a lot of like really low grade humor, it was all like 22 minute watch an episode don't have to continue the story sort of shows this was an actual narrative and this paved the way for the groundbreaking television that we have now at the time it was called the idiot box now it's considered more high quality than the movies that we get in theaters so anyways just wanted to tell you that i just wanted to let you guys know that i am watching this and i am intrigued to see where this goes except if it gets too weird if it gets too fucking weird i'm out but we'll see anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next time thanks for watching the video my name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.